Hey guys, it's time to start learning about the opposite of multiplication now, and that is division. Okay, for division today, we're gonna need we're gonna do a little activity called the chicken coop. So find your packet, turn to this page, and in that packet, you're gonna see these little circles that labeled the chicken coop, and then on the back side, you're gonna see all these chickens. Now I made a mistake. These really should not be run front and back. Really, um, if you cut up the chickens, like the instructions say, then you're not going to have the chicken coops to work with. So I'm going to give you a couple of options. One, you can draw new chicken coops on this blank page right here. Do you see the arrays? You have a one, two, three by one, two. You have three rows, one, two, three, and three in each row. One, two, three. So you could draw a three by three array of circles right here to represent your chicken coops. Or option number two, don't worry about cutting out the chickens. Just do something else instead. Like for example, if you have a pack of Skittles or M&Ms or maybe you have some cereal like Fruit Loops or Honeycomb, something like that. Maybe um, you've got some beans in your pantry or some paper clips in your desk drawer, anything like that. If you could grab a handful of something, we can use that instead of the chickens and then you won't have to worry about cutting those out. Okay, so, or you could even do what I'm doing, and that's going to be to slide this paper down inside of what we usually use uh, for sound segmenting. This little uh, page protector, we use it for sound segmenting. You could slide that down inside, grab your dry erase tools, and do the same thing that I'm doing. So you have lots of options here. But we need to go ahead and get started on division. I've already made this video once. It was too long, so I'm going to have to cut it way down so that I can upload it to YouTube. All right, let's get started. This, my friends, is division. And division is nothing more than a fair share. It's when we share something fairly. Like, for example, if I had a pack of Smarties, per se, and I wanted to share them with my friend, I might share them like this. One for you, 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 one for you. I would go back and forth to fair share to make sure that we both get an equal amount. And that's dividing. is to break a group of something into equal amounts. Now, when I start with my first little mini word problem, it says eight chickens divided into two coops. Remember, I'm not going to use my chickens. You can use those or you can use whatever other tool that you might have. But I'm only going to think about two coops on this first one. So I'm just thinking two coops. And I've got eight chickens that I want to divide. So I'm going to fair share those eight chickens. One for you, 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 one for you. And that's all eight of my chickens because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've used up all eight of my chickens and I have given each coop a fair share. Now the question is, how many chickens are in each coop? So if I just look at one of those coops, I can see there's one, two, three, four in that one. One, two, three, four in this one. I know that eight divided by, that little symbol says divided by, two equals four. I'm going to show you that on this paper. Like I said, I've already done this once, so I wrote on my paper. Sorry about that. Eight divided by two equals four. I took eight chickens and I gave them, I fair shared them between two coops. And then there's one, two, three, four in each coop. So I'm going to try the second one. And the second one says 16 chickens divided into four coops. So I'm going to use four coops this time. I'm thinking about one, two, three, four. I'm not going to worry about any of these others. I just want four coops. And I have 16 chickens divided into those four coops. So I'm going to fair share one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to keep fair share until I get all the way to 16. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have fair shared my 16 chickens into four coops. So what I'm trying to find out now is how many are in each coop. So I look at each coop individually. There's four in that one, four in that one, four in that one, four in that one. 
I know that 16, let me see if I can find a place to write it, divided by 4 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 in each coop. And that's what we write here, and that's the model that we draw. Anytime you need to hit pause, if I'm going too quickly, please feel free to hit pause. I have to move quickly so that the video is short enough for me to post on Facebook. All right, here we go. I've got 20 chickens, and this time I'm going to divide them into four coops again. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four. I'm not going to worry about the rest of those coops. I'm just dividing into four coops. 20 chickens divided into four coops. So here I go. I'm going to count all the way up to 20. I'm fair sharing, counting up to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I've taken my 20 chickens and I've fair shared them into four coops. So I'm talking about 20 chickens divided by four coops equals how many in each coop? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five. 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 There are five in each coop. So I could say 20. That's what we call the dividend, the number we're dividing. Divided by four, that's called the divisor, that's the number we're dividing by, equals five. That's our quotient. The answer to a division problem is called a quotient. 20 divided by four equals five. And that's what we should record here. And there's our model. 20 divided by four equals five. Right now, I want you to press pause and try that next one on your own. 20 chickens divided into three coops. So count out your 20 chickens or M&Ms or whatever you're using. And then we're going to divide it into four coops. No, I'm sorry, three coops. Press pause. Solve it on your own. Now that we're back together. I'm going to take 20 chickens, divide them into three, I'm not, sorry, not 20, 12 chickens, divide them into three coops. So I'm going to count up to 12, fair sharing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I had 12 chickens and I divided them into three coops. So how many are in each coop? One, two, three, four. Is that an equal number in each coop? Yeah, I did a fair share. Everybody has the same amount. And if I put those all back together, would it give me my original 12? 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 more is 12. Yeah, so that's all 12 of them. I divided them into three equal groups, and that means there's four in each group. So you should record 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And I want to see your picture down here. Your model or your picture is going to look like this. Pa press pause if you need to. All right, I'm going to do a couple more right quick. And then I want you to do the rest on your own. So I've got 25 chickens divided into five coops. So I'm thinking about five coops. Not going to worry about the rest, just five. And I'm going to count 25. One, two, three, four, five. I need to keep going to get to 25. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Have to keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still got to keep counting. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep going. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I have given each group an equal share. I have fair shared 25 chickens. Fair shared them with five coops or five groups. How many are in each group? That's right. One, two, three, four, five. There's five in each one. Did everybody get a fair share? Yes. Is there 25 in all? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? Yes. 
So I could say 25 divided by 5 equals 5. The dividend divided by the divisor equals the quotient. Draw a model. Let's do our final one. 24 divided into 8 coops. So we're talking 8 coops this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I want to divide 24 into 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Have to keep going. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Got to keep going. I'm trying to get to 24. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I had 24 in all, and I divided them into eight equal groups. How many are in each group? If you said three, you got the quotient. 24 divided by eight equals three. Please complete the back page on your own using the same tools.